Hi. Hi. Well, you, um, you look like you enjoyed that at the end. Yes, of course. <laughs> Tell me what went through your mind as uh, Cole Bahama's goal went in and you were dancing around the pitch. No, I think it was amazing because overall, I think we deserve. We were better, better team today, uh, and uh, was fair a score on the last minute. I think if you see everything, I think we start really well the game. To nil for us was the game was under control, and then we made a mistake, and I think we suffered a big impact, emotional impact that you know uh, was was wasn't easy to to deal with with this. But in the second half again, we control the game and and we concede in transition and and of course disappointed in the way that we concede the three goal because I think we should be better in this type of situation. But I think if you uh, uh, analyze the game, I think fair result, three point for us, and I think important um, on the end to finish in the way that we finish, creating you know I think the the connection with our fans. Players and fans, fans and players, that this is a very good uh, thing that happened today and should be a turning point for us to, you know, the team trust on the on the fans and the fans trust on the, on the team. James? Mauricio, just why did that win mean so much to you? Very emotional at the full time whistle. Because in the, in the way that happened, because it was really unfair. When we feel in our feeling where, uh, the feeling where, not so good because I seen why we are losing the game, you know, and and something happened because if football is is like this, but I think it was on the end always keeping believing, scored the the, the draw, and uh, we were talking and and saying to the to the our player, still two minutes, two minutes, believe that we can score the uh, the winning goal, and yes, so so happy because on the end was of course emotional because you know win the game like this three point. For us, really important because it was a must-win game. If we wanted to reduce the the gap in between the the team that are above us, I think it was so 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 important. You know the the three point today. Uh, with, with the Chelsea fans, some of them, some sections there, we say they want to see more emotion, more passion from you. When you're like that at the end, is that sorry who? Some some sections of the fans. They want to see you more emotional, more passion, have that connection. Do you say moments like that? Do you think that you bonded with them and you're sort of getting that? But well, passion is not to be a crazy guy doing stupid things on the touchline. I know, I never, uh, I know, I, I'm not like this, you know. Passion is the team need to show passion when uh, is uh, the eleven player on the pitch running and desperate to get the ball back and score goals. I think that is the passion that the, our fans need to see. Uh, I need to be calm. I need to be very clinical and analytic, watching the game, trying to help them in every single, you know, aspect on the game. And uh, I need to be concentrated and focused on the end of the game. Of course, show your passion like I show it today. Fantastic, but you know, I am not. Uh, that is not a circus. That you need the clown to do things on the on the touchline. You know, I need to be calm. I need to be very focused in try to help the team and more in a team that need help from outside. You know, because we are the younger, I think, or one of the younger team in Europe, and I think we need to be calm, the country staff, and trying to analyze and see in every single you know word that you can tell them and and help. I am not a clown. I am a coach. Head coach, if he someone want a clown, can go and find a clown. A cl clown, clowns, is he the is payaso? Yeah, right one. A, yeah, clown. Yeah, yeah. a clown, no? Yeah. David? Yeah. Hi, Mauricio. Um, Cole Palmer, uh, hat trick hero today, uh, 20 plus goals in the season, mm -hmm. 10 plus goals. He's the uh, top 23 players in the top five leagues with more uh, goals and assist involvements. He's becoming a superstar here at Chelsea. Uh, where? I'm ah, sorry, and showing passion is from 2017 that Chelsea didn't win, uh, won, no, against Manchester United. No. Passion, no. Come on. Yeah, I, I was asking you about Cole Palmer. He's becoming a superstar here at Chelsea. Uh, besides his talent, what do you think is his best skill to be a superstar? Best skill, I think, is. is <laughs> Uh, one of the best skills is his mentality, 
and his capacity to deal with the pressure. Um, he's young. Uh, I think he's his first season playing, you know, very consistent uh, with the consistency. And I think it's amazing the way that he deal with the with the pressure. No, that is talk that can be a very a very good player. Can be a very we can talk that today that with the performance today it's, in, it's impossible not say that he's top top player, no. But I think it's still a roof to to improve. Okay. Maurizio, as great as the ending was, do you actually enjoy games like that as a coach? When it's that with chaos, is that what you want to see? Yeah, because we are here only for, to 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 you know to coach the team. So be uh, today football is about to um, it's entertainment, you know, uh, a spectacle that yes is about to to score goals, to feel the passion, to to build some passion. You know, when you when you play, the team need to translate to the fans. Of course, the pa the fans will be connect with the team when when how we start our approach the game today was in the way that we want it always. Even you play Manchester United or you play Burnley, you know, or you play in every single game. Um, but yes, I I like. I like to score goals. <laughs> I don't like to concede goals like today, but it's the normal process. We are the younger, one of the younger team in Europe, but that is is about uh, this type of performance or living this experience that uh, we need to grow and, and improve. Okay, we'll end this section here, and we'll now preview Sunday's game against.